Today, we're gonna to take a look at the all new tributary sling from Sims. Hey everyone, Matt here with The Northern Angler. We're a small independent fly shop located in Traverse City, Michigan. If you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss any new videos when they come out. Also, if any of this information is helpful, think about hitting that thumbs up button. It's a big help for us. All right, all right, all right. I know Sims is not new to the sling pack market. They've been in the game almost since the beginning, but the tributary sling is a little bit different from what we've seen from Sims in the past few years. And spoiler alert, it's nice and simple for once. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the features on the new tributary sling. The outer is built with a 600 denier recycled polyester fabric and the inner is a 200 denier polyester liner. Now what does that all mean? I mean to you watching this that means nothing right but there's a lot of slings out there and I've had a lot in the shop that are really thin and they feel like if you snag up in the woods or you know maybe you drop a something sharp near them they're just going to tear this bag does not feel that way. It really feels durable, like it's gonna last you quite a while. There's just one main compartment on this bag. You'll access it through the double zipper. Inside, you're gonna find a simple stretch mesh organizer with two pockets. This is just the right size for a slim fly box or maybe a leader wallet. There's also a key clip inside. This is a really nice feature so you're not digging after that late night mousing trip. The main pocket's a great size. I think you could easily fit four fly boxes in here, or maybe a rain shell and two boxes. It all depends on what you're taking on your outing. Your smaller pocket is on the outside of this bag. It's accessed with a single zipper and sized for a small thin fly box, a flask, or maybe even a fish whistle. On the outside of this pocket, there's a generous sized Velcro patch, perfect to attach a piece of foam for drying out your flies or any other Velcro accessories you might have. Also on the back is an integrated net slot. This is perfect for mid and long handled nets and they've also included some webbing loops so you can attach a leash or maybe even a tippet tender. I'm happy to see they've included a water bottle holder as well as two compression straps so you can really pack this bag down tight if you need to. The shoulder strap is right hand only and features a nice simple set of webbing loops and a nice hypalon dock for a pair of nippers or clamps. Last but not least, there's a nice adjustable sternum strap so your bag doesn't sling down in front of you when you're releasing that next fish. This bag weighs in at 1.05 pounds if you wanna get real technical and holds a maximum capacity of 10 liters. All right, overall impressions, this is a great bag. It's well-built, it's the right size, and it's well thought out. So there's not just an overwhelming amount of features. It's everything you need, nothing you don't. This is a perfect bag for someone who's just getting started or someone who's been doing this a while and wants a simple bag they can rely on. That's it for us today. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, that thumbs up if any of this was helpful. Don't forget you can shop for this bag and tons of other great stuff at thenorthernangler.com. Hope to see you all very soon in the shop or out on the water.